views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Do you want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones? Travel the world? Live spontaneously? Get ready, because the Chip Justice Show is here. Join Dr. Pat Basile and Chip Justice every month as the Positive Change Institute can help you build meaningful success, embrace life and love, and realize the creativity in you. Living a life you love is the end game in this inspirational and empowering show. Positive changes for a life you'll love. And now here's Chip and Dr. Pat. Hey, everybody. We are so excited for today's show. Thank you guys so much for tuning us in and turning us on. You know, Chip Justice, you know, has been somebody that I've gotten to know over these past several months. And, you know, part of what that means is, you know, you get to see what people are really passionate about. Um, When we take a look and we think about our lives, we think about the things in our lives that get us all fired up or the things in our lives that kind of drag us down. You know, the the idea of life is to keep whatever it is we're doing, however it is we're doing the work, to keep it at a vibration that's going to emanate out into the world in a way that people are going to know that you are in the zone of positive change. And that's what Chip does. Today's show, Flip Your bottom barometer. I love that. Flip your bottom barometer. And today, what does that even mean? Well, he's going to take us on a journey and talk with us about, look, if you are there, what can you know? What can you do that can be done? Now, how does he know this? He's a highly successful, accomplished entrepreneur, former U.S. Marine, You know, somebody that's not only gone to school, but has now said yes to teaching others. And beyond all of that, works with people worldwide so that each and every person understands their unlimited potential in the arena, the high vibration of positive change. Now, having said that, he's also the founder of Positive Change Institute, and you're going to find out more about that. But when your barometer is hit in the bottom, when you are at a low point, what can we do? Chip, it's great to have you here. Great. Thanks, Pat. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Love being on the show. It's so much fun. Every time that we get together, it's, it's absolutely a pleasure. So thanks so much. You know, this idea about low barometer, I mean, all you need to do is say it. And I know people are thinking, I know what she's talking about. I know what he's talking about. But sometimes <laughs> we don't know. You know, sometimes we don't know when we're hitting a bottom. Um, and, and, or what's got us crazy, right? What's got us in this place where we are feeling very, very high or very, very low? What is it about life that causes us to fluctuate up and down and sideways, ticks us off and so forth? Well, yeah, thanks, Pat. You know, and the reason why I talk about the a barometer, it's, it's a scientific method. It's a way of capturing information uh, and then being able to make a decision based upon that. You know, if it's if the barometer is lowering, you know that a storm's getting ready to come. Yeah. And the same applies to to you as an individual. You know that whenever you start feeling down and, and disappointed with whether it's your friends, your family, or yourself, really, and that's the key. It's feeling down with yourself you know the world starts spiraling down and really the whole goal is to spiral up you know if you keep spiraling down going down into uh, into the deep dark abyss of water you're going to drown and the same applies to understanding this world that we live in and the people that are around you and understanding the people process and technologies used to help you become a better person to maximize the positive side of every situation. You know, it's really interesting. I was watching something on television the other day about the Titanic, you know, and some of the the new theories about the Titanic, you know, everything from, 
you know, how did it go down, the people, who knew what. And you know what I'm struck by? None of that really mattered. The, these scientists were really interested in where was the stress point? Where <laughs> was the stress point, right? You know, right. the idea of we all saw the movie Titanic, right? Where that just famous last scene, the boat is doing this and it breaks in half. And this one guy said, no, 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 no. I don't think that's what happened. I think the stress point was over here. I think it broke at a different place. And I love this metaphor because isn't that what we're talking about when we're talking about the science of a barometer? Aren't we talking about things which will cause something to go up, something to go down, something to break? Yeah, absolutely. And also understanding the various impacts that that will make that barometer go oh. up or make that barometer go mm. down. Mm. You know, I'm often reminded, I, I talk to a lot of whether it's CEOs, executives, or whomever, and just the everyday Joe. You know, I've found that the people that are happy, the people that are satisfied, people that are successful, are really in tune with themselves. They, they understand the world that's around, the impacts that are created by those around you, and, and being able to empathize. Because you know, I often say we are in, we're not alone in this world, and you can't be successful alone in this world. You, you have to, to work, reach out, talk to, socialize with people and, with, and understand the technologies. You know, it used to be one, a long, long time ago, writing was a technology mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. people were amazed, and they said that that would destroy humanity. And as we continue to develop and become more technologically advanced and technologically uh, informed, we start to learn that there are different ways to see things, different ways to do things. And that's the whole purpose of understanding or flipping your barometer around. Because now that once you understand how to measure how you're doing, how you can be effective, how you can become more you, become more of a real person, then you can flip that barometer around and start spiraling up. You know, it's really interesting about um, what becomes our trigger points, Chip. Um, and I think this is really something that you've talked about before. You know, some of the things that we look at in our lives. But, you know, I mentioned earlier that you uh, you were uh, in the Marines, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, and I can't even imagine trigger point. I mean, you know, <laughs> just saying I was in the Marines puts a whole new meaning to the word trigger points. Right. And right. I'm not really talking about a weapon. I'm talking about the emotional aspect yeah. of not just having that particular job. Right. Because that's what that is. But also how we learn whether or not our emotions should be applied here or should be applied there. And what was it that you actually did learn from the Marine Corps? Well, you know, and there's so many things that I, I learned from from Marines as well as several other things that I've done <laughs> in my life. But a lot of it all goes back to the Marine Corps. And we start off with uh, as soon as I get out of bed, the first thing I try to do, at least if the, the bed's empty, if mm -hmm. there's no one in it, first thing I try to do is make the bed. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's the first challenge, the first task done within 30 seconds after I've gotten up. So those positive reinforcements, those uh, advances, those slight wins, you know, those are all positive forward movements. It's spiraling up that I was talking about. Yeah. You know, that's what sets you up for success. Yeah. You, you understand that tomorrow is another day. And you're going to get up and make your bed again and you plug along and do the best you can because that's really all you can do. You can't do any more than the best you can do. And a lot of people don't realize that. They look at that as a trigger. At, oh, no, I'm going, my head's going to explode because they're in information overload. And really, you, can, you don't have to, to worry about a hundred percent of the stuff coming into your head. In fact, mm -hmm. you are very good as a as a human in filtering out all of the negative or filtering out 
what it is that you don't want to listen to. I mean, you learn how to do that in when you were in elementary school. You learn how to tune out your teacher. Well, the same could be applied for tuning out Facebook. <laughs> and Facebook's a perfect example. People go to Facebook and I, they think that they're going to uh, be better, stronger, smarter, or, I guess. I don't know why exactly they go to Facebook, but it, it, there's a lot of good. There's a lot of positive there. You can connect. You can socialize. You get. It's an extension of who you are. Mm -hmm. But you have to live in you. Don't live through others. Don't try to compare yourself to, through others because the more you compare, the more you want, the more you start thinking that you're not enough. And really, you are enough. Mm. You, can, you can do, you can go be anything you want to do if you set your mind to it. And, and you commit, wholeheartedly commit and, and believe that, that you are going to come out successful in the end. I love what you're saying. I love what you're saying because this is so important to really get really at the core of this. You know, I love what you said about I wake up in the morning and I make the bed. What it what it reminds me of is the idea of doing that thing that is right in front of you. Do that thing that's right in front of you. You know, it's really funny because I was sitting before the show and I'm getting ready for the show. And I'm thinking about I just made a great pot of organic coffee. I love it. But chip. I had not had my protein drink today. And so I'm thinking, wait a minute, I got the coffee, I got the protein drink. So what do I do? I have a moment of brilliance. As I've got my organic half and half, I've got my delicious coffee, and I take my protein powder, and I put it in the, the, the cream before I put it in the coffee. And all of a sudden now, I'm sitting and drinking this fabulous mocha, because it's chocolate, mocha, organic ingredients, because I had, a, I had a moment where I stopped. See, and I, that's what I think I'm hearing you say. See, if you get up out of bed, you have to have a moment of consciousness where your mind is stopped long enough to know, I just got up out of bed. Right. Oh, let's just make it. Now, we're going to take a short break and we come back. This may seem simple or understated to you all listening, but I will tell you that if you look at any successful person in the world and what does success mean, Chip's going to define it when we come back, but anybody that is living their dream, there's one foot that got put in front of another that got put in front of another got put in front of another. And what you said was so important. Do you know why? Because they actually believe they could put one foot in front of another and in front of another. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, does it matter how you make your bed? Or is it just making the bed? That's the point. We'll be right back. Les we, my brother, in this world, we are all the same. We must find peace. Almost everyone at some time in their lives ask themselves, what am I? Most of our questions are ego-generated and simply don't address the problem of our false self. It's time to relax your ego and embody your soul. Dr. Dan Cohen, neurologist, inventor, and author, has created tools to awaken a new way to transform from who you thought you were into what you truly are. Visit toolstoawaken.com today. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong for the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease we are not going to let you down we're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio the message will continue the conversations will become stronger and the healing epic 
feeling broken from your relationships? Are you second-guessing yourself about friends, family, and lovers? Tune in to the hit show that's creating a buzz in the love-seeking community. Love Seeker Radio, finding love for your authentic self with renowned love coach Heather Lynn. Tired of dissatisfying relationships? Kiss them goodbye and power up your love seeker energy. Coach Heather Lynn reminds you that you can just be you, the beautiful and perfect you. Visit heatherlynncoaching.com to learn more. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie DeLuce at info at ronniedeleuceonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie DeLuce, your partner in wellness. We might find it together. We start to find a way from your heart. You've got the good vibration. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Chip Justice, Chip Justice Show. I'm so excited because Chip is going to be branching out doing his own show live without me. I'm going to have anxiety about it, <laughs> separation anxiety. But I will tell you that I am so honored to see Chip. What has happened in a short period of time? Here, here's what I know. I know we're going to talk about this, but I, I just want to say this. People think that transformation, change, change, like my old minister used to say, used to change, used to take a long time. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking at what have we done with chip justice <laughs> right now. So let's take a moment to tell everybody about the website and we should just do a show about the journey of the website because it Uh, does have to do with the barometer. Well, and it absolutely does, you know, and we talk about, uh, all right. And I, you and I have talked a lot over the last months about learning and about how, uh, we're not successful alone. You know, so my perks, my website, by the way, chipjustice.com. It's a great website. Boom. People should really try to go there uh, as often as possible because hopefully you're going to find some inspiration and you're going to realize that you're not alone in this world. Just like I understand, I'm not alone. You know, there's a reason why my website is so great, and it's because there's a ton of great people that supported me in the development and in the creation and in making it better. You know, I. I'm often reminded, again, about successful people. What do they have in common? They have a coach. They have someone that they can go talk to to make themselves better, to make themselves more effective. And that's the whole purpose behind chipjustice.com. It's something, some place where you can go to brighten your day, to make yourself a little bit more effective, to start learning and understanding more about you. And by the way, if that's not enough, there's also tons of information. Just Google Chip Justice and you're going to find Pinterest and uh, eBay and probably everywhere else on the Internet that you go. I'm kind of out there. And the reason why, yeah, we live in a digital age. We live in a technological society where we can be connected all the time. Now, you don't have to be connected all the time. You can choose to turn that button off and not be connected to ChipJustice.com or... You can hang out there all day. That's the great thing about technology. It actually gives you more choices. It makes you more of who you are and who you want to be. Yeah, Yeah. I got to tell you something. This whole thing we're doing here with the video and Justin pushing all the right buttons and, you know, Miss Jessica, you know, just never giving up on. I, I will tell you, I made a declaration about five years ago, and I said, I will never do this. I will never do the video thing. <laughs> I did. But right. here's why, and, I, and this is what you're going to talk about in this segment. Here's why. Here's why. 
I kind of came up the ranks, you know, not in the military, but I'll tell you, I was raised by two military, what do they call them? Military brats, my aunt and uncle, right? Uh, captains, and I don't even know what they were. But uh, here's the thing that that I learned, and maybe you can talk about this. What I learned is if you're going to do something, right? Don't shoot for the bottom. Don't aim right. for the bottom. I heard someone at a meeting the other day say, you know what? I aim for the bottom. And I, I'm telling you, I started to sweat. Now, you tell me what happens, Chip Justice, in the world of positive change when we aim for the bottom. Tell me about that part of the barometer. Well, and this is a, thanks for the time because that's exactly where I wanted to go. It is part of the barometer. You know, I talked about spiraling down. And when you start taking those negative actions and start looking at things from at the very bottom, and it's a long ways to look to the very top. Sometimes you might even break your neck looking to the, to the top because you're so far down at the bottom. Now, maybe you want to be at the bottom, but I find that very hard to believe. Most people want the best for themselves and for them, their family. The challenge is, is they're often afraid of changing that barometer. They they continue to look at things in a negative perspective or they continue to look at from the bottom of the pile. You know, I started at the bottom of the pile too, long, long time ago. I was a truck driver, cross country. Uh, been my, to dad, four, my dad it, too. So I know a lot about the truck driving thing. Right. That's hard work. Oh, very hard work. And, and, I probably did a lot of things that you're not supposed to do, like run over hours. And that was before the satellites came into the trucks. But I, I tell you so that way you, I, you can understand how I, I was there. I absolutely can empathize with, with people. I was at the bottom. Not only did I drive truck, I also rode on the back of a garbage truck for a while, you know, and flipped burgers and McDonald's and, I've done a whole bunch of other, whether meaningless, small, mundane, hey, call them whatever you want. Can I ask tasks. you a question? I know this is yeah. not part of our little script here, but I, no, I got to right. ask this question because you and I have such similar paths. I mean, I sold hot dogs from a hot dog cart. I clean fished. Mm -hmm. And when I moved to Seattle, I was floundering so much. My friend dragged me out to sell door to door vinyl siding. I was the <laughs> opener. I got bit by dogs. Here's the question. Having said all that, what did you learn, Chip? What did you learn? Well, not every dog has fleas, for one. <laughs> there, there's a lot of good dogs out there. There's a lot of nice dogs, but there's also a lot of mean dogs out there. That's right. And, you know, learning how to read people, reacting appropriately, you know, I'm, I'm reminded of some recent world tragic events that we had. Yes. And if, and if you're thinking, by the way, that I'm talking about Paris, it's much, much bigger, folks. Mm -hmm. in, in 24 hours' time, we had something like, I want to say it was in the neighborhood of 1,500-plus people that died to terroristic events around the world. Yeah. It wasn't just France. Right. And And – Really, it's understanding that I don't want to be part of the, the bottom. I don't want to be uh, worried about uh, the, the, the struggles and challenges of life because they're always going to be there. They're not going to go the way. I focus on forward. I focus on, on how to get out of my situation. I assess where I'm at and move forward. I get rid of the baggage. I leave it there, drop it in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. Don't hold, I don't hold on to it. Now there's a lot of people, Oh, I got to have all my stuff. And I would ask, does that stuff really make you, you? And that really strikes with people. They're, they're not often sure how to answer that because I just talked about how Facebook is an extension of you, mm -hmm. but that's not necessarily a thing. It's a representation, kind of like a flag. It shows and represents who you are. Now, just like our U.S. flag, I wouldn't necessarily want to go step on it, or I don't even wear it. Now, 
I see women wearing our flag in bikinis and I'm like, Ooh, that's supposed to be nice. But personally, I don't do that, but I don't get up bent out of shape about it because everybody has a, a different understanding, a different spin, but we are in this big world together. And yeah, we and have now to let's work point one something out though here. Let's point something out. I love you're talking about this. I love this. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, my neighbor in Jersey, uh, he made such a big deal out of being born in the USA. And one of the things I love about what you're talking about is we live in a country today that if I felt like I wanted to wear a bikini, now, please, you all do not visualize it. <laughs> but, I, but I'm just saying, if I was out there and I decided I wanted to wear this, guess where we live? We live in a country where we can. See, this is what I love about your topic, because we live in a place where I'm not saying this is for everybody because I know what it's like to be poor. I know what it's like to be grow, grow, growing up in the projects. But here's what I want to say. We are such a place of choice right now. And there's so many things that we don't remember about that. And this is what you're talking about. I want to take a break. And when we come back, I love this dialogue about what can we choose? What can we step into? What are the world of unlimited possibilities that you're talking about? I mean, look at you, a Marine, a truck driver, you know, hot dogs. Look at us today, Chip. Here yep. we are in a world where, by the way, soapbox for a minute, all of media is owned by six giant right. corporations. We do not air our shows on those corporations. We are not owned by them. And guess what? That is why you and I, Chip, can have this conversation today right? without some producer hitting a button and saying, do not talk about that. When we come back, Chip is going to take us on a journey. I'm loving this. Take us on a journey. What will we choose? What is it about today and our success and our lives that we are just not getting because we are very comfortable in a low barometer. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Chip Justice. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Calling all dreamers. Are you living your dream life? Actualize your possibilities with Life Coaching Radio and your host, Deb Stetzer. If you're feeling stuck in a rut, Deb is here to help you turn your dreams into a reality. Life Coaching Radio. Dream it, live it, be it. To learn more about Deb, visit www.mylifecoach.us. Do you want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones? Travel the world? Live spontaneously? Get ready, because the Chip Justice Show is here. Hosts Dr. Pat Basile and Chip Justice can help you build meaningful success while embracing life. Living a life you love is the end game in this new, inspirational, and empowering show. Positive changes for a life you'll love. Tune in every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit PositiveChangeInstitute.co for more information. Tune in to the Angels and Answer Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. 
My dream is to end homelessness. My passion is living a green life. My dream is to end poverty. My passion is volunteering. My passion is making a difference. My dream is to cure Lyme disease. My passion is rebuilding communities. My passion is helping those in need. My passion is caring for the elderly. My dream is to find a cure for cancer. My dream is to leave a better world for my children. We all have that special passion, that lifelong dream that drives us to live our lives with meaning and to create a better world. No matter what drives you, we can all make an impact. Dr. Pat Basili is helping others make their dreams come true so we can all help make our world a better world. To learn more about how Dr. Pat is building a community of sharing hope, strength, funds, knowledge, and information, visit abetterworldcrowdfunding.com today. That's abetterworldcrowdfunding.com. Everybody, welcome back. Chip Justice here. I'm so excited. The Chip Justice Show. Love, love, love watching people give birth to their dreams. There's nothing quite like it, you know, for me. And just to be friends with, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get all teary eyed and choked up about it here. You know, just to know that I get to meet someone like Chip Justice, watch where he's going, his dedication to helping people what he is committed to and working with somebody like Chip to get your life out of the bottom and to be where you are, it is a blessing and a gift. Now, for one of you out there, we have something we'd like to give away. Uh, We'd like to give away a free one-hour discovery session with Chip. This is valued at about a 300 buck deal, and it is the thing that will get you out of the bottom. Stop being a bottom feeder. That's it. Uh, 1-800-930-2819. Now, this website we're talking about, all you need to do is go to chipjustice.com. Chipjustice.com. I can't even believe we were able to get that URL. (laughs) Well, thankfully, not many people have that name. So that's uh, a good uh, Wow. Talking about a lot here. Are we out of the bottom yet, Chip? Help me. <laughs> so, it, well, you know, and it's funny. That's exactly what people call and say whenever they start off a session, quite often with me. Because I talk about it being a discovery session because that's exactly what it is. You know, I have a process in place that I work towards with you in developing a, a plan of action. So how do we get there? Well, first, we talk a little bit about where you're at and your potential and what it is that you're looking to create or develop. And then we'll talk about the various impacts and the results that those actions will have. And we're going to base all of that on your beliefs, something that we talked about earlier, beliefs. You know, there was a point in time and uh, for all the kids under, uh, let's say, six years old, everybody put their fingers in their ear right now because we're going to talk about Santa Claus. Uh Uh-oh. You know, at one point in time, you truly believed in Santa Claus. I I still do. And then one day, (laughs) you woke up and you said, it's that quick. It's that easy that you can change your beliefs. The question is whether you want to hold on to your beliefs. Mm. You know, You can be anything you want to be. And I chose not to be a truck driver. I chose not to be a garbage man. I chose no longer to flip burgers at McDonald's. Not because they were bad jobs or crappy jobs, but because I wanted to learn more. I wanted to go do more. You know, I, I often am not satisfied. And the reason why I'm not satisfied is because there's more out there that I can see do, learn, touch, feel, taste, whatever it is. There's a whole big world out there to go see. And it's part of taking a little bit of risk, yeah. risk in yourself and a risk in others. You know, we're becoming a society that's fearful of everything or 
they are, uh, you know, Monday morning quarterbacks whenever they want to talk about how bad President Obama is or whatever. And, you know, we, you don't think, or people don't often think about that moment in time for that individual and why they made those decisions. You know, uh, when I talk about decisions that you make, you base them on what you know and the facts that you have in front of you at the time. In the so, moment. In, in the that moment. moment, right. Right, You're absolutely. Living All of us moment. have been there. All of us have done that, right? In and, that moment. But how often do they they forget about how they were living in that moment? And then they start be- beating themselves up about, oh, I made a bad decision or or the wrong choice, or why did I do that? Why I would question why beat yourself up. Yeah. It's in the past. Yeah. Drop your bags in the middle of the street. Keep crossing. Let somebody else take those bags from you. You don't need to hold on to all that baggage because you are a lot better person than what you realize you are. You know, I want to ask you about the Positive Change Institute, if I could, for a minute, because... Sure. We don't really talk enough about it. Um, and in, and the reason I want to talk about it is because if I'm like many people listening to this show, people may think, as, I'm, as you and I are here, that we kind of did this all by ourselves, that we just woke up one day and we were all about what we're about today. I have to tell you, that is not me. I stepped in more potholes, but <laughs> I learned the benefit of working with coaches, I have to say coaches because one was never quite enough. I was a handful and I'm still a handful. And I wanted you to, I wanted you to talk for a minute though about positive change Institute, because you're not just talking about, let's just change. You're talking about positive change and research has shown that when we take the higher vibration, doesn't matter where we are today amazing things happen. Tell us about the Institute, if you could. So thanks, Pat. So I, I talk, or I created the Institute because, and you really summed it up exactly how I do every time we can make any change we want to. Is it positive? Mm. You know, and making those positive changes, those positive choices, they're not always easy. It's not the easy road. In fact, more often than not, it's the hard road to take because you have to do a lot of soul searching. You have to figure out a lot about who you are. Now, getting a coach is not about finding a shrink or getting in your head. A coach is about making you better, helping you figure out your solution, your answer. Not that the coach has the answer. And if you have a coach that, that says they have the answer or all the answers, run. Please run because that's not the, the purpose of a coach. A coach is there to listen and to be somebody in your corner helping you, making you a better person and, and, and challenging, challenging you along the way. Because otherwise you don't need a coach. There's no end game to win. Well, the other thing it says, and, you know, you and I joke about this quite a bit off air. People don't get to hear it, so let's joke about it now. You know, the whole idea of old school thinking, you know, remember when they used to have these big seminars and you'd go to the seminar and there'd be like a thousand people in the room? That assumes that that is a one size fits all. Mm -hmm. That assumes that when I'm getting ready to say to all a thousand, all y'all thousand people, it's going to be the same for everybody. But that's not what you're talking about. Because you're talking about, in the Positive Change Institute, working with people, meeting them where they are, and helping them get to where they uniquely, uniquely want to go. That's what I'm saying. That has to happen for each of us. Absolutely. And, and I'm reminded of a, a particular example where I don't want to say I had an inspiration, but I started to really understand how unique I am. And when I say unique, I'm talking about here in the memory Mm -hmm. because I can stand at one point in place on this earth and I can look and see nothing but sheer beauty and awe and spectacular because there's this vast canyon out in front of me. 
somebody else standing right next to me, that very spot in time, they look at it as a death trap. The reason why? Because mm -hmm. we're standing on top of a little one foot by one foot square piece of rock. And then if you move one side or the other, you're going to fall for several thousand, probably a thousand meters. It's a long way down. You know, and so I saw beauty. The person right next to me saw death. And that's the sheer power of understanding how unique you are, because you look at things differently than anyone else. And once you understand how unique you are and how differently you, you think, then you can start putting some, some pr process into place on how you're going to cope and how you're going to relate and interact and how you're going to make yourself more successful or better or quicker. But it's really about taking that negative out and turning around and flipping that barometer upside down and putting a little positive effort into it. And the next thing you know, you're in a positive spiral where your entire life starts coming together because you took one positive step. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do at the Positive Change Institute. We help you identify your first positive step <clears throat> and followed by many, many more because it doesn't end with just one positive step. It's like we talked about earlier. You have to make your bed every day. Well, every day you have to get out of bed and make that positive step forward because you can quickly sink backwards into the dark abyss. <clears throat> and I love this because one of the things we are talking about here is we're talking about what does happen if we take positive action each and every day. After a while, we're not even thinking about it anymore. You know, after a while, we're intuitively knowing what that feels like. We're knowing, wait a minute, if I go down this road, that's not going to feel very good. I'm not going to go over there. And we learn to make choices that are educated, informed, and aligned with the higher vibration. And I think that's really, you know, a lot of what we're talking about. It's not just about, you know, checking a box off on a questionnaire in a coaching platform. It's really about getting on and figuring out who the heck am I? Yeah, it, it's that being aware because you can't empathize with that person next to you unless you're aware that one, they are a unique individual. You know, and so let's talk a little bit about, we talked about Paris and how bad that was. Mm. And a lot of people today are in a stance of keep out all immigrants or keep out Syrian immigrants. Mm -hmm. And they're not thinking about the Syrian immigrants who have been running from a war zone for the last four years and how they're trying to take their first positive step. So I bring that up because I, you as an individual also need to realize that you can keep other people from taking their positive step or you can make it more challenging or, or hinder their positive step because of action that you, you took. You know, and that's part of that being aware when you are aware that and you know, as an executive, I make decisions all the time. And if I make a decision to put in, let's say, an, inf an IT infrastructure and I spend all of this money, was I aware of all of the people that I had to talk to? Uh, was I aware of the process? Was I aware of getting the money? There are so many things that you have to be aware of. And so that's what I'm getting at is, we, yes, we have to make decisions. And yes, we have to move forward. But those decisions aren't necessarily easy. And taking that easy road, taking the easy way out, often I would ask, does it make you a better person? Because you skipped on something out of life from which you can learn. You know, there are a lot of things we talked about, my being in the Marine Corps. Yeah. Sure, I could have skipped that part and not put given a little service back to the country. But because I took the hard road, the, the long road around, I actually believe I'm a better person because I wasn't doing it just for me. I was also doing it for the people who live in this great country. You know, there's a tension uh, about growing. 
you know, mm. there's a tension that arises for, about growth. What do I even mean? I don't mean the kind of tension. And, you know, let's go ahead and skip the break because I want to make sure we cover everything here, sure. Chip. Um, and I don't, I don't really mean a tension like stress because that's not what I mean. But there's a tension. Sometimes tension is healthy, right? You know, oh, yeah. if you ever watch the tree grow, you know, there is a, there's a, a tension that happens when that tree goes from being a seed, right? And the roots take, take place and start to, you know, embed themselves in the soil. And there's a tension that happens at that point, right before that young tree pops through, in some cases, some very, very hard soil, right? Oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about allowing ourselves to experience a, t a very healthy tension of growth. Now, this year, is a is a very important year for the Marine Corps, isn't it? Yes, it is. Two hundred and fortieth birthday this year. I had no uh, idea. Yeah, <laughs> we uh, we've been around. Uh, we started back in seventeen seventy five. My Marine Corps came alive. Happens to be one of the cadences that we used to run around for miles on end singing to. But you know, the two hundred and forty years of protecting and serving this country. Uh, it's also, there's, can we talk about the positive side of so many things? Uh, and unfortunately there's a negative side to war that often people don't talk about or that they overlook. And that's the wounded veterans, the wounded warriors that went and fought those battles that lost an arm, a leg, or got a bullet to the head. You know, those those numbers are many. And in 240 years, we've had thousands, yeah. thousands of wounded veterans. Unfortunately, we don't have a system in place that, that's really good enough for our veterans. And I'm sorry to say this. We have lots of people in this country that love to go to war, but they don't love to talk about their veterans and how they can help them and how they make their veterans hospitals better and more effective and more productive. And I'm also challenged with those same places that don't help our soldiers understand that they're okay, mm. that, that they, they have already given more than enough, that they are good with being who they are. And fortunately we have a lot of soldiers and uh, former veterans that still think that they're not good enough, mm -hmm. that they left part of themselves out on that battlefield. And every day they feel like that. And that's spiraling down. That's why we have 22 suicides every day in this country. It's 22 suicides too many. Mm. You know, 240 years I applaud you, Marine Corps, and the Navy just recently had their uh, birthday. I think it was 239 or 238 years or something like that. Um, you know, although people talk about how the Marine Corps is the part, department of the Navy, I remind them that we're the men's department of the Navy. So I just want to make sure that all of my brothers and sisters in the Navy realize, hey, Marines is still there to take care of you, no matter how we torment one another. We're there to support one another, just like I am right here, right now, supporting you. And to any of those in active duty military worldwide, our services are free. Let me repeat that again. To anyone in the military worldwide, the services provided by Positive Change Institute is free to you. It's the least we can do. It's not that we are giving you something because you earned it. So please don't look at it as it's something that you're taking a handout. Mm. We are giving you something because you're our family and we take care of our family. Mm. So thank you and, and happy birthday to the United States Marine Corps. Now, how can folks find out more information about this? Yeah. So there's several ways to go. Uh, you can always go to chipjustice.com. Great place to start. Uh, StandBesideThem.org is a uh, organization that I belong to that I'm a coach with. Uh, we have a coach in 
every state in the U.S. So we have 50 states with 50 or more, co- or excuse me, with a coach or more in every state. If you need a coach, if you're challenged, if you want to be better, more effective, more whatever, go to standbesidethem.org or chipjustice.com for more information. Well, and I know that, you know, for many people listening to the show, they can go to the website and also find out about the different levels or the the curriculum involved uh, if they were, in fact, wanting to become coaches. Let's talk about that for a little bit, you know, because there's an opportunity for people to learn more about themselves, but also to become a coach. Yes, absolutely. In fact, and we, I partner uh, the Positive Change Institute partners with the Rainer Institute. Yes. Another happens to be another proud sponsor in this network. And the reason why I'm partnered with the Rainer Institute, because they are there to help you become a coach. In fact, all of the coaches with Positive Change Institute has went to the Rainer Institute for their training. Why? Because it, you learn about yourself. You learn how you're going to change beliefs and not just your beliefs but your clients beliefs as well and that is extremely powerful and emotional and you have to be able to understand how to effectively deal with that and the positive change institute we are completely different than anywhere else you go the reason why we we are there to live with you in that moment help you create an action plan a game plan and go out and get what you want. Mm. Wow. You know, Chip, this is uh, this is very, very exciting just to see the evolution of things. And, you know, we started the show talking about this barometer. You know, we started to talk about, you know, this idea of flip your bottom barometer. Flip your bottom barometer. Y- you know, this is an important topic, especially for people that are thinking you know, I've been trying, trying, trying for years. And I'm just curious for, you know, for, for a little bit. How would you suggest people that are listening to the show right now, you know, what would you suggest to them in terms of helping them understand what that next step is, what the action is? You know, there's probably 50 different ways or 50 even million ways in which to answer this. But the essence is to understand that you are at the center. You know, what you think and what you say determines how you react and who you are. So if you think negatively and you say something negatively, you will be a negative person. Mm. And the Positive Change Institute, we, tell, we help you. We don't tell you anything. We help you to think positively, it turns out to speaking positively, which in turn makes you a more positive person. That's wow. Positive Change Institute. I love it. And now we've got something exciting we're going to be talking about next time. Yeah. I love this <laughs> yes, topic. It is. Tell everybody about the topic because this is like, this goes, this is really eating away at folks right here. Oh, yes. Especially whether you're a baby boomer or, yeah. or a, a, or a uh, millennial or anything in between. Yep. Next, next conversation, we're going to talk about killing the illusion of retirement, yeah. giving birth to the lifestyles that endure. If you want to have some fun, tune in next time. We're going to talk about it. I love it. For those of you out there, just go ahead and check everything out. And as a matter of fact, you can take a look at what the curriculum is for a Positive Change Institute. Just go over there at chipjustice.com for more information about us. And you didn't tell folks about the cup of coffee with Chip? Uh. Wow, how am I forgetting about that? Well, I, I love s- those. have to say cheers to everybody. Uh, I've About once a week we come on and uh, we have a five-minute segment, a little boost of inspiration to help you understand a little bit more about you and to help you become more effective in your life. I love it. Uh, yep, if you can't even say the word retirement, <laughs> You're not going to want to miss the next show. Thank you guys, all of you, for tuning in, turning on. Chip, thank you for absolutely all you do in the world. Uh, And for those of you out there, if you've missed any part of this, remember we will uh, be airing this again later on today or go to the drpatshow.com or transformationtalkradio.com. 
and download or subscribe. Subscribe to iTunes. We'll see you next time. Thanks, you all. You've been listening to The Chip Justice Show. Are you ready to take the next step but still need help? Are you ready to live the life you will love? Contact Chip now. Dr. Pat Basile and Chip Justice will help you build meaningful success, embrace life and love, and realize the success and creativity in you. Living a life you love is the end game in this inspirational and empowering show. Positive Changes is how you get there. Thanks for listening. For more information about Chip and the Positive Changes Institute, visit positivechangeinstitute.co.